So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at whether or not it makes sense for a government to impose a tariff on a foreign monopolist. I've done this in another video when we had linear demand. In this case, we're going to have uh, constant price elasticity of demand. So it's a different, different structure of the demand curve. The bottom line with that is that the marginal revenue curve is going to be relatively flat compared to the demand curve. Now we're starting out with a circumstance where there's a single foreign monopolist. There is no possibility of producing this product domestically. So the foreign monopolist takes advantage of its uh, position in this market to choose where marginal cost equal to marginal revenue. And for, simpl uh, uh, for a simplified analysis, we're going to have a constant marginal cost. They pick where marginal cost equal to marginal revenue this quantity QM and charge PM in this uh, domestic market. So in this other video, we found that a tariff could actually improve the welfare of this domestic economy. So let's take a look at that. Here, we're going to impose a tariff as we did before. Foreigners will respond to that by now choosing where marginal cost plus the tariff, which is the cost of, of doing business in the economy, equals marginal revenue. Reduce the amount of output. And what you have is subsequently a big jump in the price inside this domestic economy. So, in many ways, the basic structure is the same as before. We've got a uh, reduction quantity sold inside this market as a consequence of the, the tariff and the imposition of higher prices on domestic consumers. All right, so let's identify some of these effects. A is the cost, I'm sorry, the revenue, tariff revenue gained to the domestic treasury out of the profits of this foreign monopolist. So the foreign monopolist used to be making this amount in this foreign market. Now there's going to be a reduction in the amount that's sold inside this market and the foreigners have to pay a tariff in order to get access to this market. And so that is the area represented by A. That's the revenue to the government paid for by the foreign monopolist. Okay, now what does this have, uh, what kind of an impact does this have on domestic consumers? Well, we have area B, which represents the loss of consumer surplus. Now, just looking at this uh, di in a diagram, it suggests, and this turns out to be true mathematically, that in this case, with constant price elasticity of demand and the marginal revenue curve steeper than the demand curve, that the losses to domestic consumers, area B, is going to exceed the tariff revenue gained at the expense of the foreign monopolist. So, in this case, the consumer surplus loss is greater than any gain that the government might get in terms of uh, increased revenue from the foreign monopolist. So here we have the same policy that we had with linear demand, with very different results. In this case, with this type of demand structure, it, make, it does not make sense to impose the tariff on the foreign monopolist in the, in the way it did with the linear demand curve. So what this is going to point out is that in order to pursue this kind of policy against a foreign monopolist, the domestic government needs to know a lot about the, for, uh, the domestic demand structure because you can do exactly the wrong thing if you don't know 
what the relationship is between the demand curve and marginal revenue. So in this case, it makes no sense to impose the tariff. It, in fact, is going to make sense, and this will be part of a, a homework, for the government to actually impose a subsidy on the foreign monopolist. We're going to see that the reduction in the prices to domestic consumers is going to more than outweigh the cost to the government of imposing those subsidies. Now let me just say a couple of th things about that. One is that people will immediately say, why in the world would you want to subsidize a foreign monopolist? Think about the following. If this was a, a good, a product, say a pharmaceutical, which had enormous benefits to domestic consumers, it's not implausible to imagine that a, a government might decide to actually encourage the importation of a product from a foreign monopolist by, by writing a check and getting more of this product in because of the consumer benefits associated with it. So this is something that is possible to do, at least in principle. Now, the second thing that I would uh, mention about this is that this can be, indeed, politically problematic, writing a check to a foreign monopolist. This is not, to, so this discussion is not really about what is politically feasible, but instead about the underlying economics. In this case, the intervention that, in the trade intervention that might, one might want to pursue is very different in this case than with the linear demand, which really does highlight the importance of government information about the, the market in order to effectively implement a strategic trade policy, a clever way of trying to take advantage of the circumstances in the international market. It's possible, it's just not easy.